Good morning friends. Today we are with the third tutorial video on VBOTS. Today our main focus will be how can we have different views and how can we increase the speed of our simulation. So first of all we start with viewpoint. So there are some options here. So if you see field of view this shows how far or near your zoom should be. So if I do it 0 0.8, it will come near. And the and now if we have some application where we are seeing this from a lens, we can use this lens flare. And now you can see the hallucination of the image. I think we'll delete the lens flare for now. If you see with your mouse, you can use your right click for translation, your left click for rotation, and your scrolling wheel for scaling. So you can scale up and down. These are the basic uses. Now let's go through the advanced view options. So first of all, we can have different views like front view, top view, back view. These are typical views which we see in the design softwares. So we can also change view and have a right view. So similarly, we can have all other views. So this was about views. Now we can have an important type of render. So this is a plane render. And if we do a wireframe render, the computation increases to a huge extent because we are just concerned about the diagonals of boxes and this will ramp up our simulation. And if we have a, a robot which is very heavy, it will be easily simulated because we decrease computation of edges. So you can see the robot and if it's not necessary to have perspective view, we can use this simulation method. So we go back to plane render. This was about render. And one more important option in view is we can have different options for rendering. So if I have a distance sensor in my robot, I can on my distance sensor ray and I can see these red rays, which are my distance sensors. So this is a critical uh, option where if you are making your new robot and setting up your distance sensor, this view will help you to check are your sensors placed correctly. We can also have a view of our camera. So this is a frustum of camera where the object in front of this frustum can be viewed by the camera. So these are some of the tweaking options of your views and you can make sure that everything is working fine. Now, last but not the least, if we want to have custom textures to some objects, so what we can do is we can go, let's first make a small object, let's make a sphere. So we go to base link, we go to solid. Then in last video, we learned about this. We can have a child and we can have shape. Yeah. And So first we can define a geometry as sphere because we want a sphere. So you can see a sphere here. And now if you want to map some shape on this sphere, we can go in appearance. We can use PBR appearance. And now here I can go to base color map and I can use image texture. So if I 
select a URL, I have many other options. Like I can have a metallic view. Metallic view is common. We can have YouTube billboard. So here you have a VBOT simulation billboard where it has taken the color of billboard. We can also have others, but this was all about today's video. So thanks for watching. Do subscribe the channel and stay tuned for other videos. Bye-bye.